So we're going to talk about World War II today. We're not going to talk about America entering the war, but the war had started long before America entered the war. After England had agreed to let Germany have the Sudetenland, that part of Czechoslovakia that spoke German against Czechoslovakia's will, the man who had become prime minister during World War II, Winston Churchill, said that Britain and France had, chose, had to choose between war with Germany and dishonor. They have chosen dishonor, allowing the Germans to have the Sudetenland, but they will get war because Winston Churchill knew you couldn't trust Hitler. He was right. We'll see during this lecture. It's, real, it's really going to start with the invasion of Poland. What happened in Poland was you can see uh, British France and England had tried appeasement. Um, they gave in to the demands of Germany th for the Sudetenland in hopes of avoiding war, but that didn't work. And In fact, England and France knew there were German speakers in Poland, knew that Germany wanted to take over part of Poland, and they pledged to defend Poland, thinking that surely the Germans are not going to attack Poland if both the English and the French were not going to, uh, or were going to defend Poland and declare war on Germany if Germany invaded Poland. The problem was Germany, on the other side of Poland from Germany, was the largest country in Europe, the Soviet Union, what used to be Russia. France and England thought that Russia would also not want Germany to invade Poland because uh, Poland had been a ally, kind of, you know, very similar to Europe or to Russia. So they'd kind of been an ally of Russia. But Germany and Stalin signed something called the Ribbentrop Pact. They signed a non-aggression pact, basically telling Germany, uh, Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, was telling Germany, do what you want in Europe. As long as you don't bother us, we are not going to get in the way of what you want. So Germany invades Poland. England and France are good to their word. They declare war on Germany, but that does <laughs> little to stop Germany. They invade Poland. They took all the resources of Austria. They took all the resources of Czechoslovakia. They're not going to invade Poland and begin using those resources. And the way they do it is a new type of warfare, never seen before, called Blitzkrieg, which means lightning war in German. This is the fastest moving army to this point in the history of the world. They go into Poland so fast, take the enemy completely by surprise. And in previous wars, it would take weeks, sometimes months, to amass enough troops on the border to invade a country. Within a week, Germany had everything they needed on the border of Poland and invaded. So fast that Germany and England did not have time to mobilize and get any help in. This was the first, these were tanks that could move 30 or 40 miles an hour. These were, this was the first army that had paratroopers that could paratroop behind enemy lines, thousands of soldiers. Um, this was the largest and most powerful air force in the world. This was a problem for Europe. It was going to be a huge problem. France saw this happening to Poland. France shares a border with Germany, and they were frightened. What France had was something called the Maginot Line, a line of fortifications all along the border between Germany here and France here. Just this, these red dots. The Maginot Line stretched the entire border. It was an amazing technological advancement. Thousands, tens of thousands of soldiers lived in the Maginot Line. They had barracks there. They had dining halls there. They had places to work out. There were guns. And if you look at the picture up here, these big posts back here are anti-tank posts. Tanks could not move through the Maginot Line. And, before, and these were guns. Where you didn't have anything to fire on but this huge gun that was pointed at you. It was hard to take out these guns. The Maginot Line was supposed to be impenetrable. But the Germans had a plan. They, if you look at my arrow here, Here's the Maginot Line. The Germans went around the Maginot Line into Paris. They avoided the Maginot Line completely. Uh, they sent a little bit of army here to link. It looked like they were going to the Maginot Line. The bulk of their army went through Belgium, who was kind of like, hey, what's going on? And before Belgium knew it, the Germans were in Belgium, through Belgium, and were marching into France. We'll finish this lecture on the next slide.